What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, I'm actually about to show you a screen flow tutorial. I uh, did a quick video a few minutes ago about Expose and how I personally use it. Um, so I figured it would be best to do one of these on a shorter video and the video I'm editing is only 3 minutes and 18 seconds before the intro and stuff. So this one's perfect for that. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is that when you record with ScreenFlow, it records your webcam and your audio right here. And separately is the screen recording, which actually records your screen. Um, normally what I would do is I play my intro, like I introduce the video with my webcam right in the center. And then when I get over to, like right here, I'm getting ready to show expose and spaces. I want that to be the center of the screen. I want that to be, you know, showing the emphasis of the video is on that. Uh, normally what I would do right here is make sure that you've got the audio and video clicked on that, highlighted, and I come over here and add a video action and you know, maybe shrink this, pull it over here, add, you know, rotate it a little bit this way, rotate it a little this way, add a reflection, push that shadow, uh, change the shadow to the other side. That's pretty much what I normally would do. But on this particular video, that's not what I want to do because uh, I pretty much I want the webcam out of the way the whole video because I'm basically showing the whole all all corners of the screen and all the clutter on the desktop. So I don't want my cam on here at all. So I'm going to go back to the very very beginning, which actually you can do just by clicking that, um, and I'm going to add a video action on the webcam and microphone, and on that. I'm going to actually take the opacity all the way down to zero. And I'm going to edit the first few seconds of this later on in iMovie and cut out the first few seconds. That way, when you turn it on, you're not even going to see that. It's just going to be, the webcam's not going to be there on this uh, particular video. So instead, I'm, right now I'm talking, I've got the audio, you know, turned down right now. But uh, when I get to this point, I want to switch down because I actually want to zoom in on the screen and make this little window right here the main part of the video. So I come down, make sure I've highlighted the screen recording, and I want to add a video action. You see that pop up right down here. And I want to take this up to about I'll do 140. And I'm going to kind of make sure that it is the main part of the screen now. Okay, then this is where I talk about expose and how by default it is set where the when you go to the corner of the screen it doesn't do anything and at this point I've clicked what I actually have it set to do so I'm about to go up to the left corner of the screen so I want you to be able to see that I'm in the left corner of the screen so go back a couple seconds and add another video action on the screen click that you're going to see a new video action and I want to take this back to 100 and then I want to make sure that I've got the full screen so I've got to line it back up. And at this point, uh, I'm going to go about right here. Now I want to do a uh, call out, which I'll have to time this out a little bit better. And you can see when I go up in that corner exactly what it's doing and I want to make sure you can see the mouse. So there we go. Now I'm going to go Right here, I'm showing you uh, how I've lost that behind everything. Right here, and add another call out so you can see where I'm going on the screen. And then you can see what it does. All right. Well, I don't really need that to be that long, so I'm going to go ahead and go down here and just drag that. Shorten it up a little bit. And I'm not really going to make sure this is too perfect right now, just because I'm trying to hurry through here. Um, okay, I'll show you that one. Now I get over here, and this is the one where you hide everything. So I'll talk about that for a few minutes. Um, all right. right before I get to that, about right here, I'm going to add another call out down here on the screen recording. You can see me actually go down to the bottom corner and it hides everything, which is what I was trying to show. Uh, then you're going to go down. Um, 
this one, actually, you're not really going to be able to see the screen go off because it doesn't record the screen going off. So right here, I just now thought of this actually. Um, see the cams right here. So I'm going to add a video action again. Uh, shrink this down a little bit. Uh, go back up to this. And I'm going to add a video action and I'm going to turn up the opacity to 100%. Rotate this uh, that way, that way, add a reflection, change the direction of the, uh, I want it to be down there, I'm going to stretch that out. So now you're going to see what this looks like. Uh, so the reason I did this is because you can actually see on my face the way that my when my screen goes out, you can tell that it gets darker. You don't see the reflection of the screen anymore. Um, where does this happen at? Um, apparently further back than I paid attention to. Small thing, like I said, I've never seen a video about that. On I think course. I missed it. I won't lie, I think I messed up. Don't have to, you know, deal with the bright screen when I'm trying to go to sleep. So, uh, just a quick little video, but uh, okay, I, I still missed it. it. Okay, I think it's right back here, so I'm just going to drag this back. Yeah, you see right corner, and, and there you can see my screen go off. And so. Uh, to draw attention to the fact that my screen went off and that you can tell, I'm going to go ahead up here again and add a text box saying uh, what I want to say. Um, you can add an outline to that, or there's a lot of different stuff you can do with that, but I'll just go ahead and do this just to get the point across. I mean, I'm not trying to make this perfect. I'm just trying to do it in a 10-minute period. Up in this right corner, and it instantly shuts off. There you go. So that was the ScreenFlow tutorial. Like I said, it's not. I wasn't really trying to get it perfect or anything, just showing you um, how ScreenFlow works. So uh, as always, subscribe, rate, comment, um, add me on Twitter, all that good stuff, and I will be making another video soon. Thanks.